tiga. Okay. So, hi and Assalamualaikum. My name is Nurul Arina Benti Barisham and my group mate uh, my group mates is Nozafira and also Anisha Fira. So today's topic we want to talk want to talk eh? we want to talk about physiological changes during marathon in heat condition. Okay. So we first we go to the introduction. So the sports that we choose is long distance running, which is marathon. Long distance running will give a great responses to metabolic system, cardiovascular responses, and respiratory responses during exercise in heat. So exercise in heat means exercise under hot environment and our body temperature will rise during the exercise or any work that we do. Okay. So let's move to the first responses which is metabolic responses. Okay. Uh, so in a marathon, there are three types of energy system that we use. Uh, first is ATP CP. ATP CP, right. Uh, for the starting, uh, this system we use to set off for set off and run for the first couple of set second up to about ten seconds. Uh, only five percent of PCR will be used. Uh, by breaking part of a high energy bond, a large amount of energy can be released to provide energy. Uh, for muscular contraction and other part of our body when we are running. The harder, uh, sorry, in about four seconds worth of ATP, it store at any one point within the body. The harder we run, the more ATP is required and the more resynthesis has to occur. Next, we move to the second energy system, which is a aerobic energy system All right this energy system i use uh, for the bulk of the race when we are running at a steady pace 90% oxidative will be used uh, for this energy system uh, it will be divided into two by using glucose so first um, the body will produce 38 molecules of ATP for every molecule of oxygen through the, through the use of glucose in the percent of oxygen. The downside of this, glucose is taken from the body glycogen store. The body uh, will slowly move away from solely creating energies, energy using glycogen to use fat as well as more abundant in the body. Uh, next, we move to the fat. Um, after several minutes of running, the body uh, begin to use fat store to create energy required for running. Um, uh, it create it create energy from our fat store in mitochondria of muscle cell. But the body does not have an endless supply of glucose and our store can deplete rapidly. So uh, we can consider taking any additional carbohydrates uh, on long distance run to top up and maintain our glycogen store. Last, uh, for last energy system is when we are, uh, sorry, which is anaerobic energy system. Slide. Uh, anaerobic system. So at this part, uh, our body will start producing energy anaerobic, anaerobically again because energy is needed at a faster rate than aerobic system can manage. 5% of glycolysis will be used. Uh, our body is unable to take in, take in enough oxygen to maintain aerobic energy production. Uh, be, uh, this is because, sorry, and uh, therefore has to switch to anaerobic energy production for running. 
this system create energy for running while producing uh, a waste product in the form of lactic acid which which can lead to inhi inhibited muscle contractions. Therefore, the lactic acid pathway only can be maintained for a short period of time, up to three minutes, and the distance is between four to eight hundred meters. Uh, we move to the oxygen consumption. <laughs> when we are having an exercise, our muscles are working harder than normal because it will require uh, more energy. Since the ATP energy used by our muscle is generated uh, with the aid of oxygen, it follows that an increase in exercise intensity will result in an increase in muscular system, in muscular, sorry, in muscular oxygen demands. When, when we are exercise intensity increase, increases, our body gets progressively faster and deeper because our body is trying to provide more oxygen to our working muscle so that they can generate enough ATP energy to keep us moving. Increased exercise intensity ultimately correspond to an increased oxygen consumption. That's all for me. So next, we move to the cardiovascular responses. Okay, so cardiovascular responses in heat only uh, had cardiovascular drift, which is mean uh, that occurs during prolonged exercise. Prolonged exercise means uh, very extreme exercise and also high intensity exercise. Okay, so uh, cardiovascular uh, drift will occur in hot environment and uh, as I said before, in high intensity exercise okay so uh, the process of the cardiovascular drift is uh, the heart rate will increase stroke volume will decrease cardiac output will maintain okay so why does heart rate will uh, increase okay when we do in high intensity exercise our heart rate will increase okay macam uh, kita buat apa-apa kerja je boleh Okay, like stroke volume, uh, like stroke volume, why stroke volume decrease? Because um, when uh, the stroke volume pump, okay, the wall of the heart cannot be uh, tahan lah, tak boleh tahan lah. Stroke volume, the contraction is uh, very, very limited, okay? So that the wall of the heart will um, like pecah, okay? Pecah so that... Uh, our blood, our blood will uh, mengalir dalam badan akan will uh, keluarkan peluh. Okay, so keluarkan peluh. Will give a lot of sweat uh, in our body uh, during exercise. Okay, so the cardiac output will maintain because it compensates the heart rate. Okay, so next we move to the, uh, there are two examples of the exercises in cardiovascular drip which is Sub-maximal exercise. Sub-maximal exercise is uh, actually a test, but uh, a test can be predict aerobic capacity or the assess the ability to perform a task or sub uh, exercise. Okay, uh, because sub-maximal ni dia bukan not like uh, bukan gila-gila punya exercise, only low moderate intensity exercise. Okay, uh, the test is performed in treadmill or cycle ergometer. Okay, sorry. Okay, uh, the example of the exercise is long distance running, which is 5 km. Uh, this exercise uh, can do like, um, kalau untrained pun, untrained athlete pun boleh buat this exercise. It's not dangerous uh, to, to the athlete that train very well, okay. So next is maximal exercise. Maximal exercise ni measurement of the maximum amount of oxygen. A person can utilize during intense exercise. So maximum is exercise only in high intensity exercise like uh, you run. Okay, uh, for example, as an athlete can continue running and even run faster even though they have already achieved their VO2 max. Uh, maksudnya, seorang athlete tu dia akan uh, continue running. Dia continue running dan walaupun uh, dia dah sampai max dia, okay, they already achieved their max. Uh, their heart rate will also 
uh, increase tak ada tak ada limit limit lah maksudnya dia boleh go lagi boleh go keep going on what uh, he doing like run okay so uh, VO2 max ni dia oxygen uptake lah oxygen yang dia ambil during uh, exercise so during dia buat sports tu okay so that uh, the um, this test cannot be uh, cannot be test on the person that did not untrain well okay during exercise like uh, athlete yang uh, yang boleh yang training yang training lebih je maksudnya macam training every day yang boleh buat benda ni yang tak boleh yang uh, athlete yang tak boleh train eh maksud sorry sorry athlete yang bukannya apa ni maksudnya training tak cukup uh, tak boleh buat ni uh, it, it can lead to fat thickness cramps and also back back pain uh, whatever pain uh, inside your body lah okay <laughs> so uh, next so why performance if the cardiovascular oh, uh, if the cardiovascular diff, uh, the performance drop because of why because of the body water loses okay bila uh, when their training did not enough okay not enough their training is not enough okay Uh, dia orang akan macam tercungap-cungap so akan keluarkan banyak sangat peluh okay very a lot, a lot of sweat okay and that is cause uh, dehydration okay air akan kurang banyak sebab blood volume kita kurang sebab apa uh, stroke volume kita dah tak boleh dah nak pump uh, dia dah because the contraction is very uh, low lah low untuk contract dia punya uh, the pump of the heart okay because Uh, because the athlete did not have enough training okay so the blood when the blood become thick pekat susah nak mengalir susah nak mengalir so dia akan dehydration air pun dah banyak keluar so dah tak boleh dah nak pump okay so that how to how to outcome this um this uh, how to outcome this apa this uh, Uh, performance drop ni macam mana kita nak uh, ni lah apa nak uh, avoid avoid sorry okay avoid uh, by drinking a water and get uh, enough training as well okay that's all from the cardiovascular gym so let's move to the card respiratory responses okay uh, moving on to the respiratory responses Okay. Uh, <coughs> respiratory responses is a physiological change in respiratory system during exercise and it also increase uh, our heart rate. So the respiratory center in the brainstem, the set the rate and the uh, it set the rate and deep of breathing, which makes sure that more oxygen is obs. Uh, absorb into the blood and more carbon dioxide is removed from our body. So one of the uh, response during uh, uh, exercise in a heat uh, is increase in ventilations. Arina? Uh, all right. So uh, ventilations is a movement of air through the conducting passages between the atmosphere and lungs. So as we all know, prolonged activity such as uh, marathon, uh, it will increase uh, our carbon dioxide productions and hydrogen ions, and body and blood temperature stimulate further in in increase in pulmonary ventilations. So therefore, uh, uh, marathon in heat, the ventilation show an almost immediate increase resulting from uh, increased inhalation center stimulate stimulation causes by the muscle activity so uh, it also required more uh, oxygen therefore during inhalation the diaphragm will contract and the thoracic cavity uh, increase in volume 
So this will decrease the intra-alveolar pressure so that the air can flow into the uh, lungs. But uh, however, when uh, during exhalation, the realization of the diaphragma and elastic recoil of tissue decrease. And uh, it also decreases our thoracic volume. Therefore, it increases uh, the intra-alveolar pressure in the lungs and push air out of the lungs. So this process will uh, move rap rapidly uh, to require oxygen as demand during uh, uh, marathon in heat. All right. So uh, air flow also because of uh, the pressure difference between the atmosphere and the gases inside the lung. So uh, in conclusion, uh, physiological change in the heat environment will give a big impact on the metabolic system, carbon dioxide carbon cardiovascular system and respiratory system. And every system has different responses when exercise in heat, such as uh, in metabolic um, system, we use three energy system, which is uh, with each ATPTC and uh, aerobic system and anaerobic system. And while in cardiovascular, it will lead to the phenomenon of uh, cardiovascular drift. Lastly, for the respiratory system, it will increase our pulmonary ventilation. So uh, that's all of us. I hope uh, you guys can understand what we are explaining on our presentations. And thank you for watching. Okay, so thank you. That's all from us. Bye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no